Welcome back, JC here. Here is how you connect the X4R SB receiver to the SP Racing Mini Fly Controller. I'll be leaving links to my X4R, SP Racing Mini, and Trans playlist in the top right of your screen and description below for other helpful videos. So on the Fly Controller, here are the input pins next to these two switches. And if we look on the back side, we will see PPM, 5 volt ground, 5 volt R1, and T1. Because this is a S-Bus receiver, the signal wire has to go to a UART port, which is R1 and T1, but the pin that we actually need is a receive on the UART, which is R1, which is second to the last. So on this side, I have soldered on a three wire servo cable. Uh, you don't have to solder it on, you can use uh, pin headers with this end on both ends and just plug it in. It's up to you. Not the last pin, but next to last. That is the R1 pin. So that is what my signal wire is going to, and then next to that is power, and next to that is ground. On the X4R, mine looks different because I've depinned it and modified it, but uh, I know this is a D4R2, but yours is going to look just like this. Uh, they're both almost exactly the same. The only difference is the channel. Uh, like if you see here, you see SB, which is going to be your signal wire, then positive, then negative. So basically this three wire servo cable is going to plug in just like this with the signal wire on the outside, ground wire towards the inside, and notice that I'm using the back pins because if you use the front pins, that's actually channel number one. Now for telemetry, you just want to take the four pin, four wire connector uh, that came with the receiver, and the only wire you need is the one on the very corner. Uh, the three other wires you can cut out, or you can de-pin it by taking a razor blade, lifting up the tabs, and pulling them out individually. Uh, but this is the only wire that you need on the corner. You will then solder that wire into another UR port. And it has to be a transmit on a UART port. Now I know we still have T1 right here, which is transmit for UART number one, but a UART port can only do one thing at a time, and we are already using it for a receive. So we will have to use a different UART port. You have UART number three over here. So if we look on the back side, uh, this pin on the very edge is actually the receive for UART number three. And you will see like right here on the edge where it says R3, and then you have T3. So because that is the transmit, this pin here, that is what my wire is soldered to. And then just plug it into your receiver just like this. Like I said, mine looks different, but uh, you should get the idea. Now we just need to plug in a USB cable that will not only power the fly controller, but also power the receiver. At this time, if you have not yet bound your receiver, you need to do that. Look in my X4R SB playlist or the Tyrannus playlist, and you will find my video on how to do that. I have already bound mine, so once I turn my transmitter on... Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. And now I get the solid green light, meaning that it has been properly bound and everything is working, so now we can move on. Now we just want to go into beta flight and connect. First go to ports and because we put the SBUS signal wire on UART number one, what we want to do is turn off MSP because a UART, like I said earlier, can only do one thing at a time. Then come over to RX and turn on serial RX. Then because we put the telemetry wire on UART number three, come over here to telemetry and I know it's a free sky receiver, but this is actually different types of telemetry. The X4RSB uses smart port telemetry. So choose smart port, save and reboot. Now go to configuration, scroll down, and we need to choose RX serial because we are using SBUS. Then choose what type of serial, which is SBUS, right here. Scroll down some more and turn on telemetry and save and reboot. Everything should now be working, so let's test it. Go to receiver, move your joysticks around, roll pitch y'all and throttle should be moving on your screen. 
If you haven't created any switches, you can test that out now. Things are about to get real. Hybrid mode. Stunt mode active. Cheat mode active. Okay, everything's working there. Now in your Tyrannus, press the menu button to go to your model. Hold the page button to go backwards a page to telemetry. Scroll down to discover new sensors and press enter. Once it's done, press enter again to stop discovery. And here is all of your telemetry. Now it's only showing, uh, well, VFAST is going to be your voltage. It's showing zero right now because I don't have a battery plugged in. But once you plug a battery in, your voltage will be in the telemetry. If you are getting all of these sensors, then you are now done with this video. Uh, but if you are only getting four sensors, then that means your telemetry is not working at all. It's not halfway working, it's not at all. The reason for this is because your telemetry comes from two different places. Your flight controller is one, but also your receiver. As long as the receiver is getting power, you will always get those four sensors. Even if the telemetry wire is not connected to anything, you will still get those four sensors. So at that point, all you would have to do is just go back, recheck your wiring, and recheck your configuration changes in beta flight or clean flight, and that's almost always the cause. Really, that's the only cause, unless your receiver is just damaged, but I highly doubt that. Nearly every time, it's just you overlook something, and uh, it's a simple fix. But that's gonna do it, guys, so uh, check out those playlists for the other helpful videos, and I will see you there.